Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative and tonight we are going to take some photos, nighttime photos of the Porsche Taycan and I am so excited. This car has everything that you would want for a nighttime shoot, specifically that sexy kind of rear light bar. So come along with me and I'll tell you guys How all- How can I help you? You, you don't need to help me. Thank you, Taycan. We're, we're good. Very helpful car, apparently. Um, so, I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I know, tips and tricks, everything I know about my camera and how we can utilize it to get the best shot. So we're gonna be doing interior photos as well as exterior photos, and we'll just have uh, a good time. Okay, so we're here in downtown Calgary. And I've been wanting to come to this location for a long time because obviously there's beautiful neon lights and there's like a little driveway here that we can park our car in. So I'm gonna go grab that and hopefully we can just kind of roll it up this driveway and then get some shots from the street using some of these neon lights. So let's set that up and I'll talk to you guys about some of the gear that we're using. Now the first thing you need is a camera and preferably it'd be great if you can shoot with manual settings because we want to control our shutter speed mostly and keep our ISO as low as possible. Now the next variable is aperture. So I'm trying to use a lens that can open up its eye or aperture quite wide to let a lot of light in. So as you guys may know already, my favorite lens is the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4. So that gives us a pretty good aperture, also a great focal length for what we wanna shoot with. So that's my camera setup and I'm using the Canon R5 for my photos and we're using the Canon R6 to film this in case you're curious. You will probably want something like a tripod if you're in darker areas so that you don't have to crank your ISO as high and you can rather use your shutter speed and lower your shutter speed keeping your tripod or camera steady on that. So let's go park this car. Hopefully we don't get in any trouble parking it here and uh, let's see how it looks. got the car parked here in front of the Silver Dragon and what we're gonna try and do is make sure that our settings are set to optimize our shutter speed, our ISO, and our aperture. So I've currently got my shutter speed down to one over 60 and because this has in-body image stabilization, it should work for us. My aperture is as low as I can go at 1.4 and our ISO is at 800. So we're not having to crank our ISO too much so let's see what we get with the shot. Sorry guys, you sure? I can get it out of the way. So another good thing to think about when you're doing nighttime photography is picking your locations and making sure that they are well lit places. So I know a couple places around Calgary that I know I wanted to hit because they're well lit, uh, mainly with light bulbs, neon signs, or storefronts. So we're downtown Stevens Ave and you can see there's tons of light bulbs above. So we're gonna try and utilize that, create some leading lines. But one of the things too when you're working with like large brands is that you can't do anything illegal. So i.e. park in the middle of the road. So we're just parked on the side. We're gonna create what we can. And as well, I'm gonna toss on a couple of the Nissi filters that they've sent me and we'll just kind of see what those different filters look like. Uh, at nighttime. This one's got like a bit of a mist filter and then they've also sent me one called the Allure which is going to add some cool streaks. So we'll try those out and see how they go. Okay, so one of the last things you can do if you're doing nighttime photography is actually bring lighting where you have insufficient lighting. In this use case, I'm going to be using it for interior lighting. So we've got nice neon lights inside the Porsche Taycan but we're actually going to use some lighting to help see the steering wheel and the dash and those kinds of things. So let's hop inside the car and I'll show you how you do that. So I'm just going to take this light and bring it around this side of the vehicle. Like this. Just pointing it in at the steering wheel and then I'm going to get in the back of the car. And for this one, I've actually got the 20 millimeter 1.4 and that gives us a nice wide aspect so that when we're shooting inside the car, um, we can see everything. So let's go see how it works. Also. We have to move quickly because the security guards pretty much kicked us out. They're just giving us a little bit, so let's see how this goes. That adds tons more light, so we actually don't have to use our ISO so much. 
think I'm gonna move the light back a bit because I'm catching the reflection in the side mirror. No bueno. I don't know if any of these shots turned out. <laughs> no idea. But well, we got them. I'll wait in the warm car while you <laughs> Okay. <figure> it <laughs> it's kind of a nice, uh, nice evening here in the Calgary Tower. So as you can see, some of these images turned out. Some of these images did not turn out. So let's go back to the office and I'll tell you a little bit about why they did or did not work. If I'm being completely honest, I actually don't think many of these photos worked out. The first location that we went to um, was just like overrun. I think I went too early in the evening. Um, so that was the first struggle that I had. The second location that we went to also didn't work out. There was a few guys around that were just kind of slinging knives around. So there's a a little bit of a risk involved with nighttime photography so make sure you go with someone that you stay safe and you're prepared preferably go to safe locations and of course the final location where I was trying to do light painting what I would highly suggest doing is a go somewhere where it's completely legal for you to be there best case scenario bring a tripod and I would have lit multiple different exposures for one photo that's what I was hoping to show you guys but of course we got kicked out and I wasn't able to do it so this is my big time fail of nighttime photography. I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, hanging out with me anyways and a big thanks to my wife for being a little camera lady. If you guys do have any questions about nighttime photography, of course I failed but um, I'd love to try it again. So if you guys have questions, let me know in the comments down below and we can hopefully get to them in a future episode. But otherwise guys, I do hope that you found this helpful, that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, smash that like button for me. Comment down below with any questions you might have and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.